Have you ever wondered if the life you're living now is just one chapter in a much larger story? What if your soul has been here before, experiencing different lifetimes, and now you're carrying echoes of those past experiences? Close your eyes for a moment. Can you recall memories that feel strangely familiar, yet don't fit into the context of your current life? Past life recall isn't just a mystical idea. It's a concept that has intrigued people for centuries. From ancient spiritual traditions to modern psychology, there's a shared curiosity about whether we've lived before. Some say this could explain deja vu, sudden fears, or even unexplained physical marks on our bodies. Today we're diving deep into techniques that might help you unlock these hidden memories and discover what they mean for your current life. This journey isn't about whether you believe in reincarnation or not. It's about opening a door to parts of yourself that may have been forgotten, buried deep in your subconscious. So, are you ready to explore? What is past life? Recall. Before we jump into the methods for accessing these memories, let's first clarify what we mean by past life recall. This term refers to the ability to tap into experiences or memories that don't belong to your current lifetime. The idea is rooted in the belief that our souls can reincarnate, living multiple lives across different eras and places. While science hasn't yet provided concrete evidence for past lives, there are countless stories and studies that explore this phenomenon. Dr. Ian Stevenson, a psychiatrist from the University of Virginia, dedicated over 40 years to researching children's claims of past life memories. His work spanned more than 3,000 cases from various cultures, and in some instances, children were able to recall verifiable details about people they had never met. Some critics chalk this up to hidden memories or vivid imaginations, but others believe it's something more profound. Regardless of what you believe, the process of exploring past life memories can be an incredible tool for self-discovery. Many people find it helps them understand their current behaviors, relationships, and life patterns in new ways. So how can you access these memories? Let's explore eight powerful techniques. First, regression meditation, walking back in time. One of the most popular methods for accessing past life memories is regression meditation. This technique is often used by past life regression therapists and is designed to bypass your conscious mind and dive into deeper, more hidden layers of memory. Imagine standing at the top of a staircase. With each step you take, you feel yourself sinking deeper into relaxation. At the bottom of the staircase, there's a door. When you open it, you step into another lifetime. This type of guided meditation can be a powerful way to unlock buried memories. Dr. Brian Weiss, a well-known past life regression expert, has used this method with thousands of patients, many of whom reported vivid experiences of other times and places. If you want to try this yourself, find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. You can record yourself reading a guided meditation or use one of the many available online. The key is to relax deeply and stay open to whatever images, feelings, or thoughts arise. Two. Dream journaling. Messages from the subconscious. Have you ever had a dream so vivid that it felt real, only to forget the details moments after waking up? Dreams can be a gateway to your subconscious mind, and potentially, to past life memories. The famous psychologist Carl Jung believed that dreams could tap into the collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of ancient experiences. Start keeping a dream journal. Place it by your bed and write down everything you can remember as soon as you wake up. Pay close attention to recurring themes, unfamiliar places, or people you don't recognize. Over time, you might start noticing patterns that could be linked to past life memories. A study published in the International Journal of Dream Research found that people who kept dream journals increased their dream recall by 30% in just one week. The more you practice, the better you'll become at catching those fleeting fragments of past lives. The talent triggers skills from another time. Have you ever picked up a skill with surprising ease as if you've known it all along? Maybe you sat down at a piano for the first time and your fingers seemed to know where to go. Or perhaps you tried speaking a new language and found yourself oddly fluent. These hidden talents could be echoes from a past life. 
Dr. Jim Tucker, who continued Dr. Ian Stevenson's work, documented cases where children displayed skills that seemed to align with their claimed past lives. To explore this in your own life, try picking up new activities, especially ones that you feel drawn to. Keep a journal of any new skills that come unusually easily or feel strangely familiar. The goal isn't to become an instant expert, but to stay open to new experiences. Even if it's just a sense of deja vu or an unexpected comfort with a task, it might provide insights into your past. The Body Whisperer. Physical Echoes of the Past. Your body may hold secrets from your past lives. Some people believe that birthmarks, chronic pain, or even unique physical traits can be linked to experiences from another lifetime. Dr. Stevenson found that in 35% of cases he studied, children who recalled past lives had birthmarks or physical conditions that corresponded to wounds or injuries from their previous lives. Take a moment to scan your body. Do you have any birthmarks, scars, or sensations that have always puzzled you? Try creating a body map. Draw an outline of your body and mark any distinctive features or sensations. Then, reflect on what comes to mind when you focus on those areas. This exercise is about listening to your body's story, letting your intuition guide you. The Emotion Time Machine Triggers from Another Life Certain emotions can act as powerful triggers for past life memories. Have you ever had an intense fear of something, even though you've never had a bad experience with it? Or maybe a particular piece of music stirs deep emotions that don't seem to have any connection to your current life. These emotional responses could be clues to a past life. Emotions, especially intense ones, are stored in the brain differently, making them more vivid and long-lasting. Create an emotion map by listing your strongest emotional reactions, both positive and negative, that don't seem tied to your current experiences. Close your eyes and allow your mind to wander. You might uncover unfamiliar settings or situations that feel strangely significant. The Ancestral Echo Memories Passed Down It's possible that some of the memories you carry aren't from your own past lives, but from your ancestors. The concept of genetic memory suggests that experiences can be passed down through generations via our DNA. Studies on mice have shown that fear memories can be inherited, raising intriguing possibilities about the memories we might carry. Take a look at your family history. Do certain patterns, fears, or talents seem to run through the generations? You might want to write a letter to an ancestor you feel drawn to. Ask them questions, share your thoughts, and see what insights arise. Sometimes, the past isn't as far away as it seems. The time travel trigger familiar places and objects. Ever walk into a room and feel an overwhelming sense of familiarity, as if you've been there before? or hold an old object and feel an inexplicable connection to it. These experiences, often dismissed as deja vu, could be glimpses into a past life. Collect objects from different historical periods that you feel drawn to and spend time handling them, noting any emotions or images that come to mind. Visit historical sites or museums and observe your emotional responses. You might find that certain eras or cultures resonate with you more than others, providing valuable clues the soul connection, recognizing familiar souls. Have you ever met someone and felt an instant deep connection, as if you've known them forever? This could be more than just chemistry. It might be a soul recognition from a past life. Dr. Michael Newton, a psychologist who conducted over 7,000 past life regressions, found that souls often reincarnate together, taking on different roles in each lifetime. Think about the people in your life with whom you've had an instant bond or aversion. Write down how you met and your initial impressions. Then, let your mind wander. What role might they have played in a past life? Whether or not you believe in past lives, exploring these memories can offer profound insights into your current self. You might not prove anything definitively, but that's not the point. It's about self-understanding and personal growth. Who knows what parts of yourself you might discover on this journey? 